Hello and welcome to your World of Champions. This Thursday evening, building up to an extremely massive match in the northwest of Spain, Salta Vigo up against Manchester United. UEFA Europa League semi-final first leg at the Estadio Balaidos. Contrasting uh, histories for the two teams, Salta never been in a European semi-final before against the Manchester United team who have won every single competition Europe has to offer except for this one. I've got a special lunch invitation from a French legend, former France captain Marcel Desailly. Bonjour Marcel. Ça va bien? <laughs> Très bien. Ça va? Oui, impeccable. So you brought me today to Le Griffonnier. Le Griffonnier. Le Griffonnier. Yes. This is the starting grid for the Monaco Grand Prix, one of the top races on the Formula One circuit. Defending world champion Lewis Hamilton started from third on the grid and he went on to win the 2016 race. Well, welcome back to the Harry Gwala Stadium where it is the home side Maritzburg United in the ascendancy at the halftime break. McCoa giving them that early lead against Orlando Pirates. Their bid for a first ever top eight finish in the history of the club firmly on track here tonight. I've recruited a panel of experts tonight, absolute legends. Benny McCarthy is here and so too is Andre Arensa and John Barnes. John, you've picked up some stuff about Manchester United's lineup, particularly a couple of hard workers in there. Well, yes, all of them are hard workers. And the interesting thing, the demands of the manager, he demands from all of his players, even if they're hard-working players, that's why Mata is not in the squad, to work hard. Um, so that is why they don't concede many goals. Benny, we'll put you on the spot right away. I know it's the most difficult. Just a score prediction and a team, please. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to say... 2-1 to Celta Vigo. Our analysts have given you the predictions. We've laid it out so nicely for you, the tactics, what to expect. All that's left now is for the kickoff, <laughs> a place in the Europa League final in Stockholm on the 24th of May. Up for grabs, it's Celta Vigo against Manchester United. I must say that all the lads on the panel this morning thought we were going to be in for the front cover of Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club <laughs> Band when we saw uh, our good friend Julia in her outfit tonight. Julia, over to you. It's more of a Janet Jackson uh, Rhythm Nation vibe mm. here tonight, but the fans are all about saluting the champions. Riyad on Twitter says, congratulations, Chelsea. They've been the best team all season and deserve to be champions. Like they say, though, the show must go on. And what a show we've got for you. We've yeah. got the top five, the poll, and play. Plenty celebs. With DJ Cleo starting us off like that, it's going to be lit. I mean, come on. What else can you expect right here? And at number four, we go to Paris. Roland Garros defending champion Novak Djokovic and the king of clay, Rafael Nadal, both impressed to advance to the quarterfinals of the French Open. Let's check it out. The three at the back that uh, Conte started playing, mm. we saw it then adopted. Everton tried to do it as well at one point, I think, when they played against Chelsea. And we've seen in recent games as well, um, Arsene Wenger's done it. Are we going to be seeing uh, it being employed a lot more in times to come, perhaps. The 2016-2017 UEFA Champions League season culminated in a final between two European footballing giants, Juventus and Real Madrid in Cardiff. Here in Mzanti, though, tournament sponsors Heineken had football fans covered with an exclusive viewing party. Of course, your favourite show was invited along, so you get to check out everything that happened here. That's your home ground advantage. Thank you so much, Titi. A very good evening to you and a warm welcome to the Mother City. I will tell you one thing you'll hear from the interview. Gavin Hunt doesn't want to give anything away. So give us some idea then as to uh, what your strengths are, how you think you will beat them, because you said we, they've been playing the same way the whole year. I've got no idea. No <laughs> idea. Every day that goes by in football, I know less and less. You know, it's, you know it goes in football. <laughs> it's been a fascinating encounter from the Cape Town Stadium, but that is all we have for you this evening. From myself, Julia Stewart, all the commentators, the cameramen and the technical team that made it possible here this evening, we say good night. <laughs>